I always talk about it. So I would like for Paul just to come up real quick here and just share with you a little bit about his ministry and what God is doing, because it's, it's incredible. Amen. He has a ministry, all pro pastors international, thousands of pastors all over the world are getting connected in the champions table, and he's encouraging them. Is this the one? It's okay. See, they didn't want to hear me. They yeah, they do. Turned off, you Listen, know, you got a good word. <laughs> you got some good stuff coming up here. Well, praise God. Well, we're just honored to be be here. We, uh, you know, we come here. We feel like we're home. Amen. That's right. I don't, but don't tell him I said that. Oh, I know that. <laughs> because we, you know, we uh, we have a great time on Friday mornings. It's a, it's it's been just a real pleasure to spend the last ten years of life with Nick and with you and uh, because we, uh, we we share his joys that are your joys and we share his hurts when you hurt and that's the beauty of the ministry that we have of the part of All Pro Pastors International called the Champions Table and that's where four pastors meet every week and that's what we do. We, we share with each other those things that we need to sometimes get off of our heart, our, our chest, those things that are bothering us. It may be about ministry. Many times it's about family because we all have families in different situations that are going on. Linda and I, we've got to five children and, and uh, 13 grandchildren and three great-grandchildren, and believe me, a lot's going on, <laughs> you know, even yeah, one's having a, a birthday today, so we're here. But, uh, you know, praise God, it's just, uh, but the ministry of All Pro Pastors International, you know, it's the ministry of just being obedient. You know, we, had, we did not set out to minister to pastors. You know, we, we had, that was my past, as many of you know, was uh, pastors, has been many generations of pastors in my family. And, uh, and I saw pastors as just other people, you know, not as, you know, somebody that stands up here, you know, something up there. I saw it as dad and uncle and cousin and a brother, you know, and, uh, and so I know from the inside, we're just guys striving to serve the Lord who happen to be called by God to do something very special. You know, being a pastor, you, you have a shepherd here. There is a unique difference in a real shepherd, and a, a pastor can be hired. A real, you know, you probably know some that are just hirelings. You know, the Word of God talks about hirelings. Very, very few and more few today are true shepherds, and you have a true shepherd here in Nick Plummer. Thank you. You really do. Thank you, and, Paul. And the ministry, I will say, is that that bringing pastors together through these tables, our prayer is that at least in in each table there's one real shepherd. Because sometimes the, the pastors generally have a heart for Jesus. You know, they have been hired to lead people, and they've been taught many times by a world system that's wrong. And but it is, in, it is in God's word and by wise counsel and by the Holy Spirit leading you, you truly become that shepherd. And that's what this ministry is about, is helping pastors truly connect with God, with the Holy Spirit, and bring the body of Christ together across denominations, even connecting with Israel. Uh, this is something that we as a ministry, we are big supporters and friends of Israel. We're bringing, as he may want me to mention, we have our friend Kevin Jessup who will be uh, coming for a pastor's luncheon in a couple of weeks. We have a, praise God, it's, you know, he's, uh, he's finally going to get his piece of pottery that Jonathan Kahn broke at the renewal in Washington because we didn't know this till the other day that Kevin Jessup's got a lot of that pottery in a bag at his house. So we're, we're going get, to get him that piece of pottery and uh, yes. but we have Kevin Jessup you may not know this coming for a conference May the 12th in Tampa 
And, and anyone or can come to that conference. You'll hear more about that very soon. Um, there's just there's a lot. We're starting a, a uh, All Pro Pastors International School of Biblical Studies. This is not something we really wanted to do, but we had so many pastors overseas and in Africa and India and different countries that said, can you help train us? Can you help teach us? We have nobody to help us. You know, and we reach out to schools. We've had schools reach out to us. But there's always a cost factor that often is very prohibitive. They have all these different rules and regulations. And these men and women just want to be taught God's word. That's all. And so on May the 2nd, we're actually starting our first class, which will be the book of Leviticus. And it is being taught by one of our messianic friends up in Live Oak, Florida. Some of you know Chris Cash. He has, he actually will be teaching it using a, and I don't know the correct term, but it, it is a, a Hebrewic teaching method. That's what he called it. So there's something more to it than that. But Hebraic. It's, it's Hebraic. Hebraic, yeah. It's a, but it's a teaching method for that that he's taught for years and years and years. And, uh, and, and of course, he is a Pentecostal as well, so y'all have some things in, in common. Uh, we will also be starting a few days later the book of Galatians. But these will be book-by-book book teachings. We're going to establish the uh, credits for it. When these pastors complete the uh, class, they'll get a certificate of completion, which is very important to them to have a certificate. And ultimately, we'll give them some kind of diploma. We have told them all we're not trying to be accredited unless God does that. That's not the intent. It is a, it is a ministry of love, of compassion, and trying to help them. Uh, at this point, we have a number of, of, of pastors and, and teachers that have said, you know, we'll volunteer to do that. And so that, you know, there's uh, uh, that's just something... Again, we didn't put that on our plate to do. God did. And so we finally, we said yes. Anybody that wants to volunteer to help, contact me. Uh, and, and, and we'll find something for you to do. Another, and this will be the last thing, because he did give me the microphone, is that I'm, I'm we, have the, uh, we have the pastor's prayer center. And this is, some of you may even get this. I don't know if Ryan gets it or not. But we... I never thought we would be writing prayers. I just never thought we would be writing prayers. I wasn't. My heritage was not where you wrote prayers. However, this is full of written prayers. That's right. And and so God started us writing prayers for pastors and leaders that we had in our database, and and so. By God's grace, now, and they're personalized. It's If you get a prayer, it's your name. You know, it's personalized to you. And, and let me say, about four weeks ago, we sent out 41,500 personalized prayers <laughs> to pastors and ministry leaders wow. in the United States of America, each representing a different congregation. And... Uh, we would love to be able to contact them and actually pray for them over the phone. That's, that's one of our heart's desires is to be able to call pastors like Nick confidentially and say, how can we pray for you today, pastor? You know, and just have a ministry of prayer. Because, see, we believe that when Jesus said, my house shall be called a house of prayer, that he meant it. And we need to have that, that prayer foundation in our lives. So this is, we're praying for pastors. We're encouraging pastors. Everything we do is to, to, to strengthen pastors because without a strong pastor, you don't have a strong church. It is as good as the leader. Praise God. You have a great leader here, a great shepherd in Nick Plummer, and I love this man. Thank you, brother. God bless you. Give me that microphone.
I need you and Linda to come up. Uh, as we were worshiping, the Lord wanted me to anoint Paul and Linda. There's a heavy anointing here. I want to just come right over here. I'm going to just anoint them and pray for them. Uh, we're in the counting of the Omer, a time of creativity, a time of opportunities. And um, like I said, he has thousands of pastors in his ministry that, that need to be encouraged, and they need to be encouraged. And uh, so let's just uh, extend your hands if you can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you for this opportunity for me to be obedient and to anoint Paul on the head like you did the high priests and the priests and even Linda. Right now, we just anoint her, and we just right now, Father, we just extend our hands, and I lay my hands upon them. Father, I thank you that they are separated and sanctified and set apart to you. Father, we just want to thank you for their provision. We want to thank you for their healing and health. We want to thank you for divine appointments. We just want to thank you, Father, for just uh, traveling mercies. We want to thank you for all these things because they have them. We don't need to ask for them. You're already going to give them to them. And so, Father, we just thank you once again for divine appointments. We thank you, Father, for their love for Israel and the Jewish people and the city of Jerusalem. We thank you for placing that in their hearts as well. And once again, Father, we do thank you for divine appointments, even among the, uh, uh, those Jews in Judaism and those Jews of Israel and, and all the Jews in, in, in the nations, Father. We just thank you for their love for them as we lift them up to you right now. And we just thank you that this ministry is a last day's ministry for such a time as this. You have Paul and Linda to encourage pastors to see the light, to see the hope of Israel and Jerusalem and the return of Yeshua. And so, Father, we just release them to you right now. We thank you for their family. We thank you for their uh, children and grandchildren. We just bless this whole family right now, Father, and just touch them, salvation, healing, deliverance for them as well, and, and just an incredible outpouring of your spirit upon them. And we just release this, Father. We release this, a new chapter, a new fresh spirit upon them. In Yeshua's name we pray, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Wow. Woo. Thank you. You know, it's funny. My children aren't here.